Ishaka Community Church family with pleasure would love to inform you that we'll start premiering our midweek online series called Morning Dew. Our pastoral team has prepared an amazing message just for you. This series will run every Wednesday from 6.30 to 7 a.m. Don't miss out on this amazing and wonderful experience to kickstart your day. We would love to keep in fellowship with you, grow together spiritually, and pray for you. Ishaka Community Church, connecting people to their destiny. Yes, praise Jesus. And good morning. This is the 11th day of our 2023 year. Uh, hopefully, you are going, doing well. Hopefully, the Lord is helping us to advance successfully. As a church, we are in prayer and fasting. If you feel you can join us, please. We have gone 10 days for so far. This is going to be the 11th day remaining, only 30 days. We purposely fast for 40 days. So you can join us. You can join us and we see what heaven has for us and we commit this year for God. So this morning, again, we are here at our morning due, brought to you by ICC, our media desk, and the pastoral team. And we want to encourage you more into this new year that you may begin it successfully and you be energized and confident. Don't lose your energy, don't lose your self-esteem. We just tune in, don't leave. You can share that link to some people and invite them for this morning deal. Can we pray, King of Glory, thank you again for this opportunity to share with our viewers and every person around the world. We commit this before you, and Lord, we pray that you manifest in this mightily. We ask you to communicate, to be uh, in this broadcast, and Lord, to reveal to us greater and greater things. When all is said and done, Lord, we know the glory belongs to you. Thank you. Today we are in Isaiah 41 and verse 10. The next 20 minutes we are going to be here. The Bible says, Fear thou not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Uh -huh. It continues to say, I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help thee. Yes, I uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. These words were written by one of the greater prophets, Isaiah, because of the volume he wrote. And he was writing to the children of Israel in captivity who were weary, who did know what to do. And here he comes to encourage them through the voice of the Lord. Of course, by this time, when he came, they were dismayed. They thought their God is not in there. But also, uh, and they thought they had lacked strength. You know, initially, they would fight all their enemies initially. They would overcome every battle, but at this time they were captives. They, they, they were depending, they were, or they were on the masses of their captors. But here comes the voice of the Lord in such a wilderness, in such a challenge, and it tells them, I am with I am. You know, when we hear that word, I am. If you're a good Bible reader, when Moses was very inquisitive about the name of God, after meeting him at the burning incident, at the burning bush incident, God didn't disclose his name. He told Moses, I am who I am. And when Jesus comes in the New Testament, uh, in, I 
according to the gospel of John, they are about six I am. I am the bread of life, I am resurrection, I am the gate, I am, I am, I am. So this is a, 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 a real definition of God. I am, you are sick, I am the healer. Uh, uh, you have nothing, I am the provider. Uh, you lack wisdom, I am the wisdom giver. He is unlimited. Our God is unlimited. This year, what are you lacking? The I am is with you. This year, what are you troubled about? This I am is with us. So, friends, the I am in fact, you put there, I am the provider. You can write even in, in your room. Just make a writing, get cello tape, and put there, according to what you are going through, I am the provider. I am the wisdom giver. I am the, the employer. I am every, the connector, if you want a marriage, that will connect you to your spouse. I am, I mean, you are going to mess up. But in this portion, we have about six, we have about five promises God is giving to the children of Israel in this one, one verse. And we are going to tackle one by one. Here he comes, he says, I am with you. I am with you. You know, this is the first promise. The first promise is about God's presence, that I am with you. We talked about in the previous broadcast, when Moses was asking God's presence, here is coming vividly to the children of Israel and telling them, I am with you. Hmm? I am with you. That's what the Bible said. I am with thee. He's telling them, do not fear, for I am with you. You know, sometimes the fear may, may convince us that God is not with us. Fear may tell us that we are alone. We are not alone. I remember when I had just gotten born again, there was this Nigerian preacher who came to our church and he sang this song. Uh, I'm not alone, hey, I'm not alone, hey, I am with my living Jesus, I am, I'm not alone, hey, I'm not alone, so I used it to sing with my family when we were praying in the morning, and we could say, I am with my living Jesus, I've forgotten some of the lyrics, but it helped me. To, to, to prove to me that God is with me. God is with our family. You know, the more I could sing that, the more I can feel him being near us. You know, in the Bible, there are several verses which remind us that God has promised to be with us. Jesus said, For I am with you to the end of the world. When he was commissioning his disciples in the so-called Great Commission, Matthew 28. He told his disciples, I am with you to the end of the world. I don't know where the end of the world is. Some people said the end of the world is in Kanungu, Chihihi. But, <laughs> you know, you have a member here. Because the road is very rough. There are many, I mean, uh, Nengos, there are many mountains. But I don't know where the your end of the world, but you know what? For me, I can say your end of the world is when you've reached the wall. When you feel nothing is going to happen and the only option for you is to die. He says, there I am with you. I am with you there to the end of the world. To the end when you feel nothing is happening, the Lord is saying, I am with you. When you want to terminate your life, the Lord is as if saying, don't terminate your world. So he was telling his disciples, I am with you to the end of the world. He also said, I will not leave you 
as orphans as he was going he was telling his disciples i am with you i'm not going to leave you as often sometimes we live an orphan spirit folks this yeah remove remove that garment you know i love this blind beggar who had jesus call passing and he called him they tried to silence him he called him and when jesus told him you come oh he told the people bring him he threw away his blind garment which identified him with the blindness you know you need to throw away some garments some orphanage garments which define you I, I i know one 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 prime minister of uganda who was given to be in charge of the orphanage's money and he misappropriated it and he was asked where did the money go he said i'm also an orphan i had to use this money you know sometimes you live an orphanage spirit to the end i lost indian fools i'm an orphan you're everywhere you, go. you know i lost all my pay i'm an orphan that's why i'm suffering you know folks live an orphanage spirit today we have a father in heaven who is better than any earthly father he can guide us is with us so he told the disciples even when i'm going but i'm not going to leave you as orphans i'll never leave you as orphans but i will come to you at the poor road if god is for us who can be against us if god is with me what can i fear and david one day said if god is with me whom can i fear he is with me he is with us this year god is with us god has gone before us who never leave us in hebrews the bible says he will never leave us nor forsake us you know your parents may forsake you your brethren may forsake you your uncle may forsake you by the way even your mom he was talking in isaiah that even your nursing mother the one who is nursing you he may forsake you but god will never forsake you our god never forsakes his people you know parents fathers of these days they forsake children but God never forsakes his children. He is ever calling us his son. He's, even when we go astray. Remember the story of the prodigal son, Luke 15. He went, but the father was looking in the road, waiting for his return. He didn't forsake him. And when he returned, he made a party for him. Why? Because this is my blood. You know, sometimes we may sin and we run away from God and say, God has forsaken me. Once God has called you a child, a son, a daughter, he has called you his child, his son, he will never forsake you. The devil is the one to convince you that you've been forsaken. You find your way out to get consolation in this and this. But our God will never forsake you. Ne- he will never leave us. He is with us. Whether we are feeling it or whether we are not witnessing. He is with us when we are working. He is with us when, when you are at your workplace. The Lord is with you. When you be in your lectures, the Lord is with you. When we shall be witnessing. When you shall be doing any other thing, the Lord is going to be with us. When we are in the hospital, when we are meeting at that appointment with the doctor, the Lord is is with us there is no place on this earth where god cannot be with us listen to that there is no place in this earth where god is not going to be with us everywhere he is with us this year he is with us the bible talks about the fact that the presence of god is everywhere in a general sense the wicked cannot hide from him they cannot do things in the dark and not be seen by him who sits everywhere and everywhere psalms 33 13 that's what the bible has talked about but when you walk about when we talk about god's promise i am with you we are not talking about the general sense of him being present everywhere we are rather talking about the fact that god is with me personally 
We are not talking about that God is everywhere, is a creator of the universe, is in the lake, but me, because I'm the precious creation. God has ever made. I'm the precious person where he dwells. In fact, he dwells in me. He sent his son to dwell in me. That's what Emmanuel is, God with us. And even when he was going, he said, I'm sending my spirit. I may not be with you physically, but I'm sending my spirit to be with you whenever you are. This year be encouraged that God is with us. This year be encouraged that despite the difficult circumstances, he is with us. Through the fire, through the storms of life, the Lord is with us. He is with us through the testings of the fire. He is with us when things are going well for us and is with us when the things are tough. Child of God, this is the package for you this year that in any situation, he is there in the furnace. When they are talking about you, when they talk about you, don't run away from the church, don't run away from the family, don't run away from that marriage. The Lord is with you. When your, your spouse has shown unfaithfulness, the Lord is with you. When your children are astray, when they are not performing well, the Lord is is with you when your husband has turned against you when your relationship is not working the lord is with you in the storms of life he is with us because that is what he promised this morning as we end this broadcast the lord is with me the lord is with us and i want to pray for you and some of you are discouraged, thinking the Lord is not there, thinking the Lord hasn't been working in your life. You know, even when He's not working, we have that song, the Lord is working. Behind the scene is working. He will turn that situation which the devil ten, intended for evil, He will turn it into good. He is with me. He is with me. Can you go encourage it? with such a statement. Can you go encourage the saying, the Lord is with me. Can you walk your, with your head straight? Don't look on the ground. Don't, don't cry. Shed those tears off. I mean, wipe those tears off and say, the Lord is with me. That's how we move this life. That's how we are going to make it through this year children of God. 2023 is for the body people. It's for the people who are going to say, my God said, never forsake me. Even when I have lost this job, my God will never forsake me. Let's pray. King of glory, this is what you promised. That you'll be with us. This is what you said, that you never forsake us. I pray this morning, that you continue with that promise. Of course, the promise is there, but it help us to know, help us to realize that, Lord, you are there with me. Help me to realize, King of glory, that in difficult situation, when the disciples were, were, being, were in the rage of storms, being turned up and down in the boat, on the sea, and as if Jesus was not there, all of a sudden, when they opened their eyes, they saw Jesus walking on the water, coming towards them. And unfortunately, they thought he is a demon. Lord, you had a past to open our eyes. Not to see demons, but to see you. In the storms of life, not to dream about demons, but to dream about your presence. Not to say demon in this person harassing us, God. Not to say demon in our children, but to see you at work, oh God. I acknowledge your presence. I acknowledge your presence with me this year, God. I acknowledge your presence with my family. I acknowledge your presence with this church, oh God. I acknowledge your presence with every member of the church. And this year, Lord, you are with us. We are going to do mighty exploits because you are with us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for being there for us. 
us. Even when we don't deserve it, but you decided to be with us. Even when we annoy you, but you decided not to forsake us, God. Lord, don't forsake me. Don't let me alone. Walk with me in this year. Walk with me in this journey of life. Walk with me in all the, 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 tri the, the trials, the fires, the furnaces, the dry lands. Walk with me. Thank you, Lord. In your name I've prayed. Amen. God bless you. As I advise you, let's continue in the mood of prayer and fasting. You know, you may not make it to the 40 days, but at least commit some days of prayer and fasting this year. And let the presence of God be with us this year. Don't give up the habit of fellowshipping, friends, and prayer and reading the Bible. And make sure if you are, there are friends who are leading you in a way, not a way of the Lord, detach yourself from those friends. That the presence of God may not be and we may not be quenched, but they will just quench the presence of God. God bless you. See you again next Wednesday. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.